Hey everyone, it's Apache here and welcome back to Modded Meg Aquarium. Today we're going to be doing some, uh, making some staff rooms and uh, tidying up all of this clutter in here. I need to wait until these pumps have been researched and until then we are going to get a load of negative moodlets um, because people can see these out in the open. Uh, I've done things a little bit too quickly uh, in the run up to rank 4, I needed to get these pumps open really first. I should have researched these ones first. We're going to take a hit because of it, but it's not going to be a permanent hit. So I think my first staff area is going to be over here. I've got this game paused to just so that I don't lose too much in the interim. So what I'm going to do is grab this tank here. I'm going to turn it round. I'm going to place it there. And I'm going to grab this one, turn that one round and place it there. And then I'm going to grab some walls and I'm going to move all of that behind there just like that and I'm going to add in a staff door just there. I also do need to move these guys out of the way so they can all move into there. This guy is just about to move away, uh, into there. I need to grab a staff door and put that there and there we go that is one staff room. Um, I can also now move a lot of this stuff inside. So these don't actually lose you prestige to see these but we can actually have them all stored inside there um, out of the way now it gives us a bit more space in this area here now I suppose what else I can do um, is so if I keep that there I can just block off these little bits here um, and I suppose that can be a wall there and then another staff door just there and that'll give them access to all of this stuff um, what else can we do like that so I suppose if we had an area over here where we turn this one round just get some of this stuff out of the way, make a space over here and we would want a staff door there so if we make this the same size then we can try and put some of this stuff around there so if I grab let's move that to there And that does all of those so that means uh, they can still see them but they are out of the way and then I suppose I can actually move this down a bit again if I just delete what I've just put up move this to there can move this one to there No, let's um, let's put these these two together like that, and then I can put in a wall there and a wall there, a staff door there and there, and then a wall there and there. And now that means actually everything is out of the way and I'm wondering whether I can do something like this no I can't I would need one more like that move this back to there and then I'd need to move that to there looks a bit silly but it'll do for now. And this we're only doing this just until we get the um, the the pump done, and that'll be that. So now we can unpause. Can run fast forward again. I like running in fast mode. And this will mean that whilst we're actually building up money, we won't have any of the uh, stuff being lost, the, uh, the prestige being lost. Um, apart from its normal normal decay rate 
So we have Flick has leveled up, Hardly has leveled up. Flick, I want your cleaning to be amazing. Um, I still, at the moment, don't want um, any um, level ups on my staff anymore because I, I do want to try and build up my money uh, quite quickly now. What I do want to do, I suppose, if I cancel all of these, I can put in some more. If I do that, that will actually make these a lot more stable. It'll add redundancy into the mix for them. Ooh, there's the basic pump. Okay, so I want the... Um, I'm going to go for the inside corner tank, I think, because I can make something really quite cool with these. Or should I go for the lagoon tanks? Hmm. Actually, no, it's going to be important to, to unlock the deep wall tanks fairly soon, because I do want them. And you, and you, should not be in there. Why are you in there? There's no way in. They must have just been there from the start. Right, so we've got all of this. We've got the pump now. So now we can actually start building up um, the, the lagoon tanks properly. Um, and to do that, we've got one of them. We want to try and put as many of these things into a single tank as we can. So I'm going to give myself some more space if I can. Just expand a little bit. Um, and ideally, again, I want to expand down this way. So this will eat up a fair chunk of my money there. But it will allow me to put some stuff in that's going to be very helpful. Like, let's have a look at a lagoon tank. If I grab a maximum size lagoon tank, um, I can't because I need more money. Okay, let's run this for a bit, make sure I can grab enough money to be able to do this. Um, and I suppose what I can also do is move this one down to there and just move these down slightly as well. Oh, damn you. <laughs> all right, that'll give me all of this area to be able to put a staff room <clears throat> with um, a pump and a lagoon tank behind it. And we'll actually start figuring out what we want to do with the lagoon tanks and the podium tanks and stuff like that. So next, just waiting for money to ro ro roll around, rev around. Uh, Mori Eel has grown, that's good. Um, Save, you're already on 197. You're a very, very, very expensive member of staff, uh, but you are extremely good. Hadley. Um, I suppose you're going to be an excellent talker and you're okay at feeding. I can't really tell what these are. I don't think these are accurate. Fixing and talking. Plus four from memory. It should be plus eight from memory. On it to a lesser extent. So maybe it has been fixed. So let's see, it's supposed to be 16. When I click this, it's supposed to be on 16. Hadley? No, it's not correct, because it's giving me plus eight. Okay. Yeah, so that still hasn't been fixed yet. Um, we're back up to 1,200, 1,300. We'll see when the day rolls around, how much we have at the beginning of the day. And we'll have a look at our profits. 167 profit. And that is pretty standard throughout the day. We're doing well then. We're doing okay. Tell you what, I'm going to run it for another week in game, say. Maybe five days. Until day 100. And we'll, we'll, we'll rejoin at day 100. And that should give us plenty of money to be able to work with. Okay, so we just rolled around to the start of day 100. We've got 1,800 money to spend with. Um, so that should be fine. We can go for a lagoon tank and we do also now have the deep wall tank. So we've got the wall tank, the corner tank, the observer tank and the deep inside corner tank from Marnit, um, which we can use 
uh, to expand a different area in. I'm going to build another room off uh, and create a, uh, a, a walled area. Um, basically a room where you walk into and it's just tanks all the way around you. That's my idea for a room over here. Um, but I don't know how big I want to make these things up. Anyway, for now we're going to grab a lagoon tank. We're going to bring it out to its maximum size. That's got rid of a chunk of money there. Um, and then we're going to start trying to put stuff into this tank. So, we want um, to try and move, I suppose first of all, all of this tank in here. Let's do that. And then we can move in, say, all of these things. I'm just going to put them in for now. I'm not going to worry about where they're placed too much. We'll make it look pretty later on. Um, so that is that tank done. So I can actually delete that tank now with all of the, um, the stuff with it. So that's given us a nice big chunk of money back. In here, these chromis can also be moved. I'm pretty sure these will all be okay in there. Um, we're going to need to move these in as well. Another barrel and a big rock. And I suppose we may as well move these over because we are going to need them. Excuse me. Well, we need um, uh, more pumps for these anyway. So net, right, that is that tank completely done. So we have some more money to play with now. So next we can have in, I mean, this one. I just want that in there. I, I want to be on regular because I want to know what this is. This will eat size fish of size three. And in here we have size two fish. So we can't have you in, but we can put you into this tank here with the moray eel. So we will move you into here. Um, and then we will also move the stuff from here into here. We'll move the filter over to this one. And that still hasn't um, made it okay. But that means we can get rid of this tank as well. Um, next we have this tank here. Soldier fish. Um, now the soldier fish are size 4. The moray eel, what can you eat? Just crustaceans. The grouper has already grown up. You are size 9. Um, and you can eat size 3. So these guys will actually be okay in here. So we'll do that. And again, we'll grab all the other stuff out of here. We'll put this one into there. We have a barrel in there and some sea lettuce and another pump for there. And we're still not okay. But that is, you need to move out of there. That is this tank finished with. And then finally, we have these guys, which are King Demoiselles. They are size two. They are wimps. Do we have any bullies in here? Uh, you're not a bully. You're not a bully. And you're not a bully. Uh, Flame Angel Fish. And you're not bullies either. So yeah, we should be fine to stick with King Demoiselle. We grab these three out of there and stick them into there. And we've got plenty of space to, to uh, expand with this as well. And once more, we can move the pump over onto that one. And that has finally completed uh, that. And then we can also move in. Let's put the barrel into this one, sea lettuce into there, and a rock just there. And then that is this tank. 
gun as well, and we can delete that. So now these can actually go... I can move all of this, and I can spin it round and place it up here. I can move this tank to say there, and then move all of these like uh, move up to there. You can move up away. And just for now, we'll do it something like that. And then with this one, we need a little bit more cave. So let's see what we can do. Actually, we can add a rocky overhang in now. We only need one more. So actually, let's use one of these little driftwoods. Like that. Now this does need some more filtration. So what I'll do with this is delete all of those delete all of this and then we can add in one two three four and five and that's that fine and then we can spin this around and place that there and so there is the entrance way as it stands at the moment we do need a staff door here that's why people could get in there um, we have podium tank. All of this can do with changing over to a regular one as well. Can we put any of these in? What are these guys? These are just regular normal fish. So it seems we should be able to grab all of these guys and put them into this one here. Like that. Everyone in there is okay. So we can move the conch shell out of this one. Place that into there. May as well move this one out as well, that's quite nice. Over in here, we can put the large rock. And a little bit more eelgrass. And again, I will be changing all of this out eventually. Delete that, delete that, and delete this. And then the last one, these guys are bullies, they are size 4, so these will be okay in this tank here. 1, 2, 3, 4. This doesn't have enough filtration now, wow, okay. So, if I... Remove two of those, add in a power filter and a power heater. That's still not going to do it. Can I do this with some rocks? Let's see, medium rocks. Uh, what other space do we have? We don't have much space left. So no, it doesn't look like I can. I'm going to need a lot more filtration in here. So let's get rid of all of them. Let's go for two of those and a power combi. And then two power filters. And we're nearly there. So let's get rid, let's close all of these, open up this, get rid of that one there, and that one there, and for now we're just going to cheese it a little bit with a one there and a one there. Still needs a bit more. We're going to delete that sea lettuce there. Grab another medium rock, place it in there, and grab a small rock, place it in there. Wow, okay. What else can we do? We can get rid of this one here, 
and the rock we've just put in there and we'll try for another medium rock not quite get rid of the eelgrass more filtration okay we're gonna need the protein skimmer for this I think <laughs> um, for now I'm gonna really cheese this and say get rid of that move that to there and then we can put a power filter just there okay and now we can unpause and that's given us a huge amount more space uh, this guy has no fish in it so we can sell off all of that sell the tank sell all of this and we're done so everything's been moved down to two lagoon tanks that's exactly what i wanted to do today and that is i think where i'm gonna leave it so we've done it doesn't look like we've done a lot actually but we haven't really expanded that much but what we have done is condensed down everything into a much more manageable aquarium we've only got two places we need to feed we've only got two places well i suppose three i'm not really counting the the um the podium tank because it's so close to everything else but we've got two areas here for staff and we've got two areas for um for the maintenance we're going to have the large heaters and large filters very soon and the protein skimmer which is really going to help us uh, reduce down the amount of maintenance we need um, we've condensed down all the fish into two tanks plus a novelty fish there we go and we will get next the lionfish i think lionfish are a little bit awkward to work with so yeah, that's where we're going to leave it. Thank you for joining me today. If you did enjoy this episode, please leave a like, comment and subscribe on the video and to the channel and I will. See you next time.